Hey all, welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4. We're playing as Long Zong. We've completed our wars, we are stabilizing our country in wonderful and wild ways. Once this missionary is done, we will be done with nonsense there. No, I don't want to be your friend. Well, at least I don't want to be your royal marriage buddy. Um, this production bug cracks me up every time. It'll, yep, there it goes, it fixed itself. For a while we had 2,200 2, production, which would be kind of amazing. Um, I'd be very happy. We need to repay a loan and a little bit more money. Then we're going to increase our army. And then we'll see about uh, going to war over here with Dai Viet. And that would put us at war with Long Na again, potentially, which would be kind of cool. Um, let's see here. Missionaries, missionaries, missionaries. Let's see here. Repay all loans. Yay, loans are all repaid. Okay. That's a good start. We've gained that Casas Belli. Let's actually just have another diplomat doing that. Or Khmer. Let's, let's finish off Long Na. I have no idea if I'm going to actually try to go after them, but... You know. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, whoops. Covert actions, fabricate claims. That's annoying. Where's John Pasek? Right there. Means I'm going to actually have unrest there, which is really quite frustrating. I think. Um, yeah, 2.3. I could increase autonomy, but that just seems silly. Um, I don't know when that's going to drop, but it's fine for now. 2.3 is nothing. If we really need to, we can do autonomy. We don't need to right now. But we could. Um, let's see here. Right, provincial unrest. Where do we have it? Is that really as low as it... Wow, we're down to that low? So if we can just convert these two provinces, we're completely done with all sorts of issues. And we're actually going to have basically none once... Wow, we're so close to having stable country. This is much better than the last time I ran this. Um, dive yet, if I look correctly, 115. So we may not be able to vassalize it. Which means we will probably take provinces. But we'll, we'll sort of explore that when it comes. Um, it's kind of annoying, but what can you do? Um, in fact, that means we should make sure we have claims on everything we can. we can no longer fabricate claims on you. Okay, let's get a diplomat over here. Um, don't want to fabricate a claim. I don't think you're ever going to ally with me. But... Wow, that's actually a lot... Well, one, it's changing. But two, that's much closer than I sort of expected. Maybe we will improve relations a little bit just to up that. That's fine. I wonder if, who are your rivals and stuff. You have no rivals and one enemy. Great. <laughs> that's that's it's really hard to you know do rival of rival or anything like that if uh, have no rivals. Okay, let's see here. We are not... We should really build a cav or two. Two more cav would be great. So let's get one more infantry. One more infantry. Autosave. Thank you. And then we will save up for some cav. And we'll have all the claims on Magna and Daviet we can. Eight more years till we can, you know, vassalize Khmer. We might be able to feed Khmer over here. Some Ayatollah stuff for a while. 
that wouldn't be bad. Um, we do, of course, want to be building an army, or a navy, excuse me, but that's going to be after the army. <sighs> we need more money. That's really the only answer. Okay, so that missionary is done, which will very soon reduce all our vote risk, which is pretty cool. Or unrest, rather. Now we need Encore, I think, is our next one. Encore. Zero unrest there. 0 0.6 here. Hopefully that'll, yeah, 0 0.4 with the reduced, or the increased religious unity. Even better. Um, so now this is up to 4.1, but that should mean, I think, yep, that went away. 14 years for this, and the Champa ones went away, because there's just not enough there to make it worthwhile, which is brilliant. Um, so let's start getting claims on Khmer. Uh, fabricate claim on everything but the capital we can do, which is great. Uh, let's see here. Auto saves at the year. Yep. Um, so we now have a full ten stack. So we can just build. We need to build two more cav, and they cost me too much money. You're gonna tell me how much they cost? Twenty-five. Okay. So a couple more months before we can build our next provincial unrest is gotta be low. And we lost an advisor. Oh, come on, guys. Fine. Who do we lose? We lost the one we want to keep, National Tax Modifier, which does mean Unrest may have kicked up a little bit. Let's look. Not really. We guess we don't need that advisor dude in order to keep it down. Wow. Uh, no Unrest there. Just none. It's only where we're converting. We have an entirely Buddhist population. Um... Okay, let's recall that diplomat. I don't know where to put him next. Maybe we'll try to make Ayat Haya like us a little bit more, because we've lost well, only 15. Did we... Did I just... Am I reading that wrong? Okay, good. Yeah, got it. Um, let's see here. New diplomat. Where do we go with you? Um, Laka, like me a little bit more. Not really that important, but you're close enough. We'll make that happen. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on money now. And then we'll go after Dive yet. It'd be even better if we managed to get a military tech. I don't think they're three yet. Yeah, they're not three. So... We can definitely go against them without a problem. If we if we get three first, it'll even be better. Um, is our monetary situation? 2.4 is respectable. I'd like to be in the four range. That sort of feels right for the size, but... We have a lot of autonomy still. We have a lot of, you know... Low base tax, provin base tax provinces and high autonomy. So... You do. These guys are all in the 50 range. They'll get down. They'll continue to tick down. This one was, did have some. It's gone now. So that's what we want to see, at least. Um, but it's sort of sad that we are now basically just waiting for money in order to um, go after our friends. Uh, our local friends. We do have a better alliance, so if we were to declare war, I suspect we'd get it, but... Q. Oh, right, they have the traditions that make it more expensive to core. That's annoying. But there's our first level of admin tech. So we're closer. We need one more and we can get our idea. And that did up our money situation about 
you know, 0.4-ish. That was about point, no, maybe 0.2-ish. Which is about what we were expecting. So that's, that's good. It's progress. It's really sad that that's exciting progress. Um, I'm going to do this missionary, was it missionary speed that was the one that we um, lost? That may have been the advisor we lost, which sucks. Yeah, it was. This is going to take us longer now. Um, so it's another four years. That's annoying. We're not going to wait, obviously. We're going to go after things before then, but kind of annoying. So all of our guys, they are just there to try to gain us more money. And then we'll build ourselves some cav. Go to the dance, go to the party, you know, all those fun things. Um, gain plus five or lose stability. We will lose stability, which does suddenly mean that we have a little bit of unrest here. I suspect it's still not a big deal. Um, We did lose a little bit of money because of that. This is still 11.4 years away. So that's not, yeah, that's not a problem. We could support rebels there, but we're not going to do that. Um, we are just going to increase getting the, um, claims on Khmer. Um, yep. And then, yep, there we go. Let's actually click the button. Hi, hi, who are you at war with that's winning? Malacca. Go, Malacca, go. I'm fine with, with keeping Hi a little bit down. That's good for me. We'll build our first of two cab we need, because we are... close. Oh, I'm really sad that we don't have that super duper missionary dude. I mean, we used him to great effect. We did exactly what we needed to do. We stabilized the country. But it just means that for right now, we're sort of in a standstill, which is kind of sucky. Um, I think if they get this province, this will color in. The wasteland colors in. Ming is still having rebel issues. It's still peasants, peasants. How many Ming peasants are there? Let's see. Ming has, oh, Ming is, is dropping down. That's sad for them. Um, we don't see peasants on the map. Would it be on peasants? No, I would think it'd be under like Ming peasants. So, okay. Uh, that's fine. We only have 13% of it. That's sort of science. But we do earn 1.04, which isn't terrible. Um, So, uh, as as things go, we're going to increase that. We'll take more of these guys. Let's see here. Tech. So, in three years, almost exactly, we will have enough for more tech. Okay. That's not terrible. Um, that might happen in the middle of the war, it looks like. Um, what general do we have? We have a crappy general. But it's our king who I'm fine with sort of going after. I don't want to spend the military points, obviously. 
that's fine. I would love, we're not gonna, hmm, we are gonna have to take our, our troops off when we go to war with Diviat, because we're not gonna have finished the missionary mission before then, but I think that's probably fine. Um, it will just make this so long with the Pranacor at point two. So even the Angkor will be gone whenever the missionary hits. So I think that's perfectly fine. I love having a stable country. It makes things so much easier. Um, we're gaining a decent... I mean, the only problem is taking Diviet means that we are going to have to deal with them um, as a annoying, annoying... Uh, what do you call it? You, they have their like that plus one hundred coring cost traditions nonsense, which means they take just forever to core. In terms of uh, so many points to, to core, uh, it's very frustrating. Um, so that's kind of annoying. We're a couple months away from being able to afford our last cav, which will put us up to our full military army. Um, one question is, is do, we, do we quick go against La Na in the war um, and try to deal with them immediately? That's sort of tempting. I know it's aggressive, but we could quick annex them and then go after Diviat. It'll make us a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, that might be the bet here. Long Na, I forget, if we call them in as a co-belligerent, they'll be able to call in their allies. And it's just Ava. Ava, I don't think is that scary. Armies! How many armies do people have? Tell me. I'm using the ledger, which is sort of cheating, but it's okay. 8k. Lana. Daviat has 11, so we can see all of it right now. And Lana has 6. Okay, so we may not call them in as a co-belligerent and just leave it to that. It's probably safer. Um, I'm going to fabricate our last claim. So when they are available to go to war, we can do so. And we can, I think, build our last cav that we need to build. Yep. So we are getting close to being able to go to war, which is exciting. Of course, we're going to be in a money hole. We're going to wind up having to pay off loans because we're going to take damage. We're going to have to reinforce. Blah 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 blah. That's going to suck. <laughs> I don't disagree. Um, it's one of the disadvantages a little bit of the new unrest slash autonomy system is that you take up a lot of new provinces, but you don't get their full effect for quite a while. So you don't sort of snowball in the money game as much as I recall doing, like when I was in India. At some point, I was just like, I have so much money, it's silly okay um you don't really get that full effect but it's okay um what we're likely going to do is just take i think song law is our mission um yeah it's not a great mission but we're going to take it um that would be good to have we need a theologian though yeah um and i don't think we've seen one yet Ooh, Diprep. No. Diprep, yeah. Diprep is nice because it makes it easier to annex your vassals. But since we don't have any vassals right now, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we're going to hold off a little bit longer here. Try to put a little bit of money into the bank. And we will get probably the war declaration uh, momentarily here. However, Looks like it's about the end of the episode, so what we'll do is we will uh, call the episode here. We are, we've finished our preparations to go to war with Diviet. That'll be the, the next um, 
episode, we will start that war and continue on our way towards domination. Um, and the golden ticket of Kalang, which is what we need. And in fact, if we look, there, our closest core right now is Vajala, so we need to get to 128. So we may get maybe a situation where we're like not quite having the distance right when we need it, but we will make that happen as best we can. So thank you guys for watching. I very much appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you spending your time with me. If you have any questions, comments, likes, etc., I love reading them. I love hearing about them. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Have a good night.